So Xavier Worthy, the wide receiver at the University of Texas, stole the show this past weekend at the NFL Combine when he shattered the 40-yard dash record running a 4 140 We are going to dive right into the film to see exactly what type of wide receiver Xavier Worthy is and how he projects in the NFL. Okay, so now against Baylor, Xavier Worthy is at the bottom of your screen, really split out wide. He's going to do what we call a short motion, just kind of work inward, and then he is going to press vertical. Because of his speed, these defenders do not want to get beat deep, where he made a lot of plays this year for the, for the Longhorns were some really deep curl routes. He snapped it off right there pretty good. Great release, and this is a part of his game that he has grown in the year of 2023 and really translate well to the NFL. Show it from the end zone copy, the type of separation that he was able to pick up from here. Press that thing vertical, and now he gives himself a lot of space. We'll have multiple clips like this where he really made a lot of great plays from a deep curl route simply because he presses into that defender and they're so paranoid that they're going to get beat deep that they give up the underneath stuff. This next one is a great example of, again, of what he can do for his teammates. Xavier Worthy's at the bottom of the screen. He's going to run what we call a dick off route. He's going to press some vertical, but look, as soon as this ball snap. The corner and the safety, are they, they are so concerned about his speed, they're going to bracket him. One's going to guard him low, one's going to guard him high. And because of this, look at all the green grass that they just vacated. So concerned with getting beat deep that they bracket one defender, play man across the board, and it allows the dagger route to come underneath. And it's an easy completion for Quinn Ewers, and it's a big completion. And it, it a lot of people don't think about Xavier Worthy in that situation but he Im impacted that play in a big way. So next, I had to put this on here because they've done this multiple times in his career at the University of Texas. They just shifted out of like a diamond formation and now uh, Worthy is out at the top of the screen in this top stack and they're going to throw him this ball and he's going to throw a dot down the field. This is something that can be used in the NFL. You think about Juwan Jennings for the 49ers played quarterback in high school, threw some touchdown passes as a wide receiver for the University of Tennessee. And Xavier Worthy with that type of speed, you know, captures the attention of the defense. He can make them pay down the field. Real quick, before we get to this next one, please like the video. It always helps us out. And if you like anything and everything football, and if you're finding knowledge and watching these videos, hit that subscribe button and join this community. We're going to be breaking down a lot more draft prospects leading up to the draft. So on this one, it's another example of the impact he has on every play, even when he doesn't touch this ball. He's going to go in a jet sweep. Not only is the corner running with him in man, but watch how hard this safety rolls down. So concerned of handing off jet sweep or him outflanking the defense for a quick flat route on a quick screen. They rolled that coverage so hard. Look at the amount of space it leaves on the backside. Nice, easy handoff, and that's an easy six. Another play that people just don't think about the impact that worship is having on a given play. Okay, so continuing against Baylor, Worthy is in the slot right here, and this safety is trying to, he's begging for help. He doesn't get it. Post snap, he is not going to get beat deep. You're going to see him get into a hard back pedal, and I'll freeze it right about there. Look how, bang. Look how much distance he is trying to put between himself and Worthy. And Worthy's doing a good job of pressing to the toes of this defender. But now he's got a lot of real estate to either corner this, post this, out this, dig that. And he's going to snap off a quick slant, catch, and get to the end zone. And it's about the type of space that these defenders are giving due to his speed. Okay, so now we jump into the rivalry game against Oklahoma and very similar to the last clip. Worthy is at the top of the screen just outside the hash and you've got a corner playing very deep trying to respect that type of speed that he knows coming out of him and it's really going to give Worthy a whole lot of options here. As he presses into him, that defender is not allowing himself to get beat deep but it's going to allow the deep out or the deep dig or a deep curl where he has made a lot of plays and does just that, snap that route off, catch it, and it's a big play just because they're just flat-out paranoid. 
jump over to the TCU game where he went off, had like 10 catches for 140 yards. Think he got a touchdown in this game. But he's right here in the slot. You get backed off coverage. It pretty well the same example you just saw against Oklahoma. Press into that safety's cushion. Threaten him vertically. Snap that thing off in a, in a curl route. These are all great routes that he's really starting to perfect and he can be able to carry over to the NFL level. Right, That one right there did a really good job of high-pointing that football. We'll see it from the end zone copy. This is a good example of not allowing the ball to catch him. He's going and attacking the football at the highest point. I cannot tell you how critical this is. We coach our wide receivers on attacking the football every single opportunity you get. And there's NFL guys who will still allow the ball to get to their chest and they become inconsistent this way. Nine times out of ten, you let that ball get to your chest, it could pop up and it's a pick waiting to happen. He attacks it with strong hands. That shows confidence in his hands and his ability to catch the football. Okay, so on this next one, it's an example of what can happen when you press Xavier Worthy with no safety help at all. When I'm playing with Tyreek Hill on Madden, this is always what I'm looking for. They press him, no safety help over top, quick release off the ball, and just flat out beat your guy, throw it out there to where he can go catch it and run in space, and it's a big play. Of course, you would love to see Xavier Worthy be able to stay on his feet and carry this off into the end zone, but still big impact type of play. And these are the type of plays that he's going to have to make his money in the NFL. He has to be that deep threat. He has to be that type of player who's going to take the top off of a defense. Okay, so I got to break this one down. It's a thing of beauty. And yes, I know that this is not a touchdown. They called him out of bounds, but and also it wouldn't be a catch in the NFL because he only got one foot down, but there's a lot to love about this play right here, so let's slowly break it down. He's going to run a deep out route, and I feel like he gets a great release off the line of scrimmage, great break. And what I've noticed on film watching him, he doesn't he he doesn't really set up his routes like you. It's hard to understand if he's about to break out or break a curl or keep running by you. He does a good job of staying patient and pressing to the toes of the defender. Quick break out, attack the ball at the highest point, catch it, tight row, turn up the field and go for a touchdown. Of course, they call him back because his his feet, his right foot barely touched out of bounds. We'll show it on the end zone copy. But the way he goes and attacks that football at the highest point will freeze it and show you from the end zone copy. Once again, another great example of him attacking the football at the highest point or the furthest point away from him, not allowing the defender to get back in phase and a chance to break that ball. And then we'll slow it down for you on the rest. Catches it one foot down. This right foot just barely touched out of bounds. But the sense of urgency to not just catch it and go out of bounds and let your body drift, but then to work back down the field. Very impressive. On this one here, very minimal game, but I think it's important when you think about the speed receivers, you think of guys who are not very physical. This is a great example of him being a physical receiver. He's just going to go in jet motion, leak it out to the right, and dump it down on kind of like a check down to Xavier Worthy. He's going to break a tackle out in space, but then instead of just kind of going out of bounds, he goes right at that defender. You'll be able to see it easier on the end zone copy. Could have easily just said, nah, I'm good. I got my yards and I'm out. No, nope. he he seeked out some contact right here, which was pretty impressive. Catch it, beat your guy to the spot, and then right through the chest. And yes, the safety won that battle. I'm not an idiot. But it just shows that, you know, he, he's not afraid of contact. So Xavier Worthy, his stock is definitely rising after that 4 2 one at the NFL Combine. He's not a polished receiver. He's got a lot that he's got to work on. He was projected like a second-round draft pick. Now a lot of people saying that because of that 40-yard dash, he's now rising into the first round. He's got to clean up on a few drops. It did get better from the 2022 season to the 2023. He shows that he's got a route tree, that he isn't just a go guy. He can hit you with the quick game, quick screens. He can get you with deep outs, deep curls, deep digs, and deep posts. He's got a lot to his game. Sure up his hands, get more defined in his route running, and he could be a good NFL receiver. Let me know what you guys think about Xavier Worthy in the comment section below, and if there's another draft prospect that you would like us to break down, let me know. Until next time, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.